You might have noticed this week that Notion just introduced a new feature called grouping. This allows you to take almost any view type and add an additional layer of grouping and even subgrouping. Previously, you used to be able to do Kanban boards only by person or single select or multi-select. Now you can actually do Kanban boards by relation, which is really exciting. Obviously I can't show you every possible configuration in this video. So I'm just gonna zoom in on a few key different types just to give you some inspiration. So let's jump in to this recipes database that I've got set up here. So I've got all of my recipes here in a gallery view. Now you'll notice here on your databases that there, there is this new group feature. So Let's click on it. Let's see what it does. So you'll see group by, and what's pretty exciting here is you're not just grouping by select or single select. Now you can actually group by relation to, which is pretty exciting. But let's do something really practical here and just say, I just wanna see all of my recipes by course. Great, and you'll see here, it sort of defaults here. Uh, maybe I wanna hide empty groups too, so. Anything that's empty won't show up. I wanna group it by course and let's reorder this a little bit. So you notice if you see those six dots, it means that you can reorder it. Some of the grouping types will not allow you to reorder manually. So it's just something to be aware of. So let's say breakfast, lunch. That looks about right. Sauce, snacks, there we go. Great. So now you can see it's got this new grouping feature and you can always collapse these if you want. And just show me entrees and breakfast. Great, let's go ahead and hide the course because we don't need to see that. Great, so that's just one example of how we might wanna do that. And again, you can always see that in the database properties when you click on the three dots, or you should notice when you hover over your database, you will see a new grouping feature here. So let's try another grouping type. Let's do something like time. Could be a helpful way to do it. So that way I can say, uh, show me everything that's you know 40 minutes or under. And similarly, again, let's go back here and we wanna order this, I think. Yeah, I don't think we can uh, adjust the order automatically, so we will have to do this by dragging. And that way I could create a view just called quick recipes if I wanted to, and I could hide pretty much everything that's more than 30 minutes, something like that, and hide these. So this is pretty handy. Now this is just the gallery view. Of course, if we wanna make a new view, we could do a board view. So what I'll do is I'll show you this because now inside the board view, you can do groups and subgrouping. So let's say we wanna group by course again, sides, entrees, and let's also turn on those card previews, page content, there we go. Let's make these smaller. That's a little better. Related tags. Or even total time. Great. So now let's add a subgroup. Maybe I would just want to see the course by total time. Okay, so these ones have no time associated with them. I'm just gonna collapse those for now. So here you can see this one has actually been uh, given the property of sides and entrees. So it's showing in both of those areas. Here's a, a lunch that's 15 minutes, ideas for entrees that are within 60 minutes, 30 minutes. So it just kind of gives you an idea of what's possible now that you can do uh, you know, multiple views in a board view. Let's try grouping by meal plan. So all of those have not been added to a meal plan. I'm just gonna collapse this so I can start to see uh, what recipes are in each of these different meal plans here. 
Now again, you can do board view, table, list, gallery, even timeline view all by this grouping. The only one you can't do right now is the calendar, which makes sense. So let me show you a slightly different use case. So here we have a really simple schedule page. Now what's happening here is this database just has a sign status, and actually this should just be day and time. And it's just a really simple schedule. So you can drag things around, you know, walk, things that you do every day, and you can start to make a little schedule for yourself, an ideal schedule. And what is happening here is that we have a group by day of the week, super simple, and the subgroup is by time. Great. And of course you can change the color. Right. And that's just a really simple example of how you might want to build out a timetable of sorts. Here's an example of how you can do your task management a little more quickly by grouping by project. And this would allow you to very quickly add new items under each project. So if I add something new here, you can see it already has the project business admin assigned to it. All right, there we go. So all of these are projects, they're just collapsed and they are relations. So again, just to show you what this looks like, group by project, and that's a relation. So this is a table view grouped by relation. Now let's try something different. Let's try a timeline view grouped by project. So I'm gonna change this view from a table to a timeline. Great, and this just again can kind of show you, I like to do full width for timeline views, and then you can just really get a sense of all of your moving parts and tasks. Uh, and of course you can add a sort here as well and say sort by date. And that gives you a bunch of options there. So obviously you're just seeing some test data here and you can do the same thing with a list view Let's duplicate this and turn that into a list. And similarly, we could do, let's group this by status. Again, status is a relation in this case, or we can say by dropdown really depends on your database properties, of course. Another possibility is to do date, which is kind of interesting too. So you can do relative dates, today, tomorrow, next seven days. You can see that Notion's already done that figuring out, or you could say day, and it'll actually divide it up by day of the week, which is kind of handy. Uh, I don't tend to do week, but of course you absolutely can do that. And again, just back to relative. Now, if you do choose relative, you'll notice here, you've got a couple different options here. Next seven days, no date. So again, show all, hide all. That's an, another new feature that Notion recently added, this ability to show all and hide all really quickly. So you have a lot of different options in terms of all of the different configurations, you know, list view, groupings and such. And so I'm still exploring these different uh, ways of grouping information, but I just wanted to show you there are so many possibilities with this. Just makes adding these relations a lot faster. So you could set up a bunch of different views by status, by relation, and just go through and drag things. So I can absolutely uh, move things from project to project, move things between business admin. If I need to move stuff around to different projects or different statuses, you could absolutely do that. Those are just a few of the ways that I am currently using the grouping feature. I'll definitely be sharing a lot more in future videos. If you've already been experimenting with the grouping feature, I would love to hear in a comment below. Let me know what databases and what use cases have you found for this new grouping feature. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.